Welcome back everyone. Welcome to the beach. I'm just, you know, chilling here in Siesta Key. Thought I'd maybe do a little vlog. I'm just kidding. It's just my green screen. I wish. But today, I am doing a home vlog on travel tips to Siesta Key. So, I guess I don't really need my swimsuit. Okay, all changed. So, like I mentioned, today we are going to talk about Siesta Key. Siesta Key is a beach on the Gulf Coast, uh, just a little bit below Sarasota and uh, in Florida. And it's one of our favorite beaches to go to. Um, now, I'm going to go over a few different tips today. And the first one I'd like to talk about is accommodations. We tend to use a VRBO or Verbo, I'm not sure how you <laughs> say that, but we use VRBO.com uh, because there's lots of condos and apartments you can rent and houses that way and we find it's pretty affordable. Twice we've rented a house that's had a small pool uh, near the beach. We tend to stay closer to the main drag and I'll explain the main drag in a minute. Um, because it is a key so it's quite long so there's one area of the key that's quite uh, busy so it has all the shops and restaurants and whatnot so I'll explain that uh, in a minute but um, and again I will include links to to things below um, once the vlog is over you can take a look and maybe go check out some of the some of the links but uh, so VRBO is good because um, like I said you can rent houses and I find they're quite affordable for a week's period or if you're going longer there's also places like um, one we've looked at we haven't done yet but I think we're gonna try we have gone in and checked them out it's called Siesta Sands on the beach and they're um, one bedroom units they have a little kitchen dining room bedroom right on the beach so you just walk right out. This place doesn't have a pool, but the convenience, it's, it's right behind the main street where all the restaurants and bars and rest, like uh, shops are, but it's also right on the beach. So you can just walk right out and they're really nice units. Uh, I think they're really cute. So, and they're, they're affordable. Another one is Tropical Breeze Resort and another one called Beach Management. They're all kind of in the same area and, uh, yeah again the prices you can't beat again we've been going to disney lately so anything is cheaper than disney <laughs> i will be doing a vlog on that so uh like i mentioned in my previous vlog about new orleans we like to rent bikes here now one of the bonuses also if you're renting through vrbo or airbnb those type of places is sometimes the units come with two bicycles so you can use these uh to bike around the island um once though we did have a flat tire in one so I had to go and, uh, and get some air put into it but that saves a bit of money. Other than that you can rent uh, bicycle rentals and once um, I did use a place called Robin Hood Rentals. You can also rent paddle boards and things like that. They also have these weird little buggies you can drive around. You can rent those. So uh, they're again on the main street and um, yeah, I mean it's affordable and it's fun because it, you know, you can you can get around quite easily on on a bicycle. Um, so definitely we use that. And also there's a free shuttle. Uh, it looks like a, just like a tiny vehicle, open air vehicle, and they pick you up because, like I said, the the island is long, the key is long, and so if someone's coming from way down at the other end and they want to come in to go to some dining or a bar or whatnot. They just hop on this and it's free. They also have a trolley, it looks like an old trolley car, and it's also free. So that's one great thing about Siesta Keys. They do have that free transportation back and forth up and down the main road. Um, <clears throat> so those, those are some of the nice things that we like to touch on when we're there. Just, you know, going for a bike and uh, making, you know, doing all the research, checking out all the, the fun accommodations. While we're there, sometimes we check out accommodations for the next trip. So that's how we went and checked out Siesta Sands. Um, 
really nice people. There's another big thing. I think it's beach management. They have all kinds of pools on that one. Uh, cute little units uh, you can rent that some of them have two bedrooms too. So check those out. I will leave a link. Um, we rent a car and a couple times we have flown in to Tampa, which is a short drive, maybe an hour and a half. I should have looked into that, but I, I will leave, um, I'll leave a note down below after I'm done the vlog. And then Orlando. We flew into Orlando because we went to Universal Studios for a couple days first on one of the days uh, we went down on one of the trips. So that was kind of fun and it's like a two hour drive. It's very easy. Um, you could also do Disney for a couple days and then drive down. Um, so I find this place worthwhile to have a vehicle because um, we did go into Sarasota for a couple trips and I'll explain that to you in a couple seconds. Um, and also if you want to drive all the way down to the other island. There's also another island um, key uh, connected. Well, you kind of have to go back out onto the mainland and then come back out and it's Longboat Key. And it's really, really long. And at the very, very end of it is Anna Maria Island. And I will um, place links down below about Anna Maria Island. And there's also a map right behind, you can see. Uh, so, uh, there's all kinds of places to eat on Anna, Anna Maria Island. It's also very beautiful, but it is a long drive. So not long, but it's a long enough drive. You do have you do have to have a car, and it's worth a you know a half a day or so. You can go down and uh, sit on the beach and go to some of these uh, cute little restaurants, uh, beach bars, things like that. Um, Again, a good reason to have a car is that you can drive to St. Armand Circle. It's not that far from Siesta Key, um, and it's and it's it's a beautiful time. You could almost spend a day there. There's lots of restaurants and uh, lots of shopping, and I'm going to include a couple links below um, in the description of some of the places that we like to. One of my favorite restaurants is the Do Tommy Bahama restaurant. Um, we really liked the food there. We were like, oh, like, you know, a little leery of it just because it's it's a clothing company and, and he's opened a restaurant, so we weren't sure how the food was gonna be. We've been to places like Margaritaville and it wasn't that great, so we were a little leery, but we really liked it and it's got a beautiful, beautiful space and uh, there was a band playing while we were there for dinner, so was, the food was amazing. There's lots of jewelry, shops, clothing shops, household items, just beachy kind of beachy wear. It, it's a beautiful space and like I said it's really it's really big um, so it'll take you it'll take you a while to to go around that and then you can just keep driving and like I said you can go all the way down to Anna Maria Island so that's over on Longboat Key. One of the other reasons that we like uh, renting a car is uh, because we drove into Sarasota and we went to Mini Putt. There's a number of really fun Mini Putts in Sarasota. The one we went to was called Smuggler's Cove. It had this pit of alligators. It was crazy. You could feed them. Anyway, it was a really, really fun Mini Putt and they had like a little small pirate ship. Uh, that, was, that was a fun thing to do for a few hours. We also went to uh, the Ringling Brothers Circus Museum in Sarasota and John Ringling um, had also built a museum of art which has collections from all over the world. It's an absolutely beautiful art museum. Um, and also uh, John Ringling's mansion called Kadazan and it's gorgeous and you can do kind of a combo ticket if you want and do and pay for uh, numerous things at once they're all on the same property they also have beautiful gardens there like the also the um, the Museum of Art has uh, classic sculptures in like a grand courtyard area to outside so they also have like a garden area that's it's absolutely gorgeous wrote there's a rose garden um, so Kadazan is, uh, they built this property kind of in an, in an ode to the Roaring Twenties. Uh, he had hoped to turn Sarasota into the next Miami. And so they built this gorgeous mansion 
and they were trying to promote businesses to come in to Sarasota and uh, make it a really happening place. The whole front area outside, it's right up against the water, the whole front area is marble. As you can see in these pictures, it's absolutely stunning. I would suggest going to this uh, just because of how beautiful it was. We did a tour called John's Tour, it was $30 and it's about 45 minutes and it's a little more than a couple of the other tours offered but you get to go into more rooms, more floors and up into the tower which you don't get to on the basic tour and you can combine, uh, you can combine, like I said, you can do the museum and the Kajazan house. Um, uh, the museum also was amazing. Um, they, <laughs> they had all kinds of circus memorabilia from back when the Ringling Brothers were um, you know in full swing and um, yeah it's it's absolutely beautiful they have a giant giant section that's devoted to a mini circus so little tiny people uh, you know the big tents and they have a train coming in they show the train coming in how they would unload all the animals uh, all of the tents, all of the performers, and in this um, little display, they have um, they break it down into the different sections of how they would have set it up. And over here, this is where they have all the animals and where they bathe them. This is the this is the medical tent. This is the tent where the staff stay. This is the food tent, and then all of the stuff that the public see out out front. Anyway, it's a massive, massive section, but everything's miniature. It's it's really cool. And then as you go further into the museum, you see things uh, that they had during the circus. So just pieces of memorabilia. So that was really fun. So those are the reasons I, I rent a car because you can go in and check out, um, you can check out some of these things. So we had fun uh, doing that. Another thing that we did when we day tripped into Sarasota was we stopped by the Sarasota Jungle Gardens. This is a family owned and operated attraction. They um, have been in operation since 1939 and they state they're the oldest continuously operated attraction in Florida since then. Uh, they have over 200 native and exotic animals including birds of prey, parrots, macaws, primates, small mammals, lizards, alligators, and of course the pink flamingos. While I was there, I fed some of them and that was really fun. So you can opt in to do that. They do get very close to you. So if you're kind of nervous about that, then maybe it's not for you, but, um, but yeah, that I really in, enjoyed that. I reached out and even touched a, a couple of them they have a lot of education there for younger people uh, children they have a bird show daily they have interactions with some of the other um, animals lizards and whatnot so it's definitely for me a worthwhile um, thing to go and visit so Siesta Key is a long island like I mentioned before and and so closer to this end where the, the bridge is to come across, they have, it's the hub of restaurants, bars, shops, and all kinds of things like that. And it's really fun. Again, this is a, this is a low key kind of laid back vacation. So you're kind of like almost on island time, if you will. You get up, this is what we do. We get up, we go down to the beach, we chill out. We have a little breakfast, um, go back to the beach, maybe go for a bike ride, have lunch, go back to the beach. And then in the evening, all these little bars and restaurants have um, musicians playing. Some acoustics, just one person with a guitar. Some of them have a live band inside and there's quite a few to choose from. So uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. Like. Yes, it's Florida, but you kind of feel like you're maybe in the Bahamas or somewhere somewhere tropical. It gives you that really laid-back vacation vibe. There's a grocery store. There's a pharmacy. So if you forget things, it's all accessible there. If not, if you have a car, you can just drive in across the bridge into Sarasota. Go to a, 
go to a Publix um, grocery store, go to Walmart. There's a whole bunch of those nearby, so it's pretty handy. But yeah, it's a pretty casual, laid-back vibe, and we really liked the shops. There's a couple there that I would go into every day. I bought a couple things and brought them home. Um, beautiful, beautiful little things for your house. Uh, nice clothing, nice jewelry, ice cream shops, bars, restaurants. So that kind of uh, encompasses everything that's on Siesta Key. You can also drive all the way down to the other end. I think there's a beach called Turtle Beach. Um, but it's worth, a, it's, it's worth a drive just to go check it out. Again, if you have a car, why not? Or use one of the free trolleys and, and just zip down and check out some of the other areas on the key. So that's going to be it for today. I would love to hear your stories if you've gone to Siesta Key. Um, uh, you can leave them below or if there's maybe another place in Florida that you like. But we love going to the Gulf Coast. It's our favorite, uh, favorite side over the Atlantic. So... Anyway, we'd love to hear from you. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when our next video comes up. Take care. See you next time.